I think I may know the answer to this, but give me your perspective on why so many of us are turning to our backyard for that you know, serenity and that escape. Well, I got to tell you, life has never moved faster than it does right now. And the ability for people to be able to, you know, escape to a cabin on the weekends or go to a resort, uh, they've really become a thing of the past because uh, time and money being the most obvious factors. So the ability to have that zen, that, that zen like state, that retreat, that oasis 20 feet off the back door of your house has a huge value to people. Oh, I, I, I'm totally with you on that. Now, tell us about trends. We always like to find out about the latest trends. Uh, so latest trends, one of the reasons why I am partnering with companies like Trex is because they're kind of leading the charge with these very, very cool innovative products. So number one, that would be low maintenance decking, which means that 25 years down the road, your deck floor looks the same as the day you put it in, which is absolutely huge. It means that when you're in the backyard relaxing, you're not looking around thinking about all the maintenance you have to do, which, you know, who needs that? Uh, you get into cool things like LED lighting, which means that now you're enjoying the deck during the, the evening in the middle of the week, you know, Wednesday night coming home, uh, you know, after battling traffic, you're now walking into your backyard with a nice, you know, ambient lighting effect on it, which is hugely important. And, uh, you know, then we get into really cool things, even from the structure up, where now instead of using pressure treated lumber, which has been the traditional framing for decks, uh, you're getting into, uh, you know, double coated steel framing, which means, again, down the road, your deck is just as straight as the day you put it in, even if it's 25, 50 years away. All that stuff sounds so awesome, but you know, just like everybody else, you know, we have that champagne taste in the beer pocket. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah I know, that's true. something on a budget and make it look fantastic. Well, you know what? I, I already mentioned the lighting. Lighting is something that can be done very, very quickly, but it's probably just getting out of the mindset of thinking that doing something creative is going to cost a lot of money. It really just means you just need some ideas. The greatest transformations, the ones that I'm the most proud of, are the tiny postage stamp uh, type transformations as opposed to the great big monstrous estate. Because people look in a small backyard and they say, what could I possibly do back here? And I say, you could do way more than you ever thought was possible just by, you know, by incorporating simple things like uh, pergola structures or uh, you know, uh, getting into, the, again, the lighting systems or planters, uh, water features, fire features. These things are not, in and of themselves, are not very expensive components but you tie these things in together and it can be a, an amazing transformation that you never thought was possible. And you don't always have to do it all at once, too. So you can do it in stages, I'm guessing, and just plan it out. Absolutely. Um, no. <laughs> you go ahead. Um, how, in, how in the world did you get involved in this type of work? I mean, I think it would be a dream job, but uh, how did you get involved with this? <laughs> Gee, how much time do you have? Uh, I, I, I started out as a musician, actually, and, uh, and I have four daughters, so I don't have the time for music that I would like. Uh, so this has been my creative outlet for about, you know, 15 years now. So, and what I love the most about the backyard is that it really is kind of a blank canvas. I mean, uh, the in, inside of a house, you do have the walls that are pre-existing. Those are your parameters to work with them. But the backyard is really this kind of open landscape that I can just go crazy creatively. And so I get bored really easily and I, I never get bored doing what I do. <laughs> and if you don't like it planting one place, you can dig it up and move it. That's kind of like moving furniture for me. You would, um, now, yeah, that would be, that would be hard to do with a deck. Do a but deck right. makeover in a weekend. You know what? I think most people are very familiar with the uh, the you know the builder deck that would say come with a house. So you know you have this kind of 10 by 10 square box, you know, pressure treated lumber. Uh, and I think that a lot of people would be pleasantly surprised to know that in one weekend, take a bunch of friends, rip up that old decking, put down a low maintenance uh, flooring. That means that you're you're now not having to maintain it. Change your railing system from that two by two picket rail that's been nailed to the side of the deck. Do a nice uh, flowing railing system. There's so many very cool railing systems that are out there now. And now, you, you in, in a very short period of time, you have done a complete transformation that has not only a, a monstrous aesthetic appeal, but a property value appeal as well. Oh, sounds fantastic. I, I need you to come to my house and help. <laughs> but short of that, where can I get more information? Uh, for loads of ideas, uh, check out trex.com. That's T-R-E-X.com. Uh, lots of ideas for transforming any space. All right, Paul, such a pleasure to talk with you and an inspiration as well. Take care and have a good day. Thank you. Thanks for having me on.